Hello my friends, this is The Order, welcome back to The Order, I'm Celtic Templar, and welcome back to another review video. And, just like it says in the title, y'all, we got three new Celtic style shields. Two in which are supposed to be based on Pictish style culture, and one in which, well, isn't exactly Celtic, but I count it as Celtic, and you'll see why. And in such, these were actually custom made for me by my good friend, uh, Jonas, I miss Jonas, and, uh, sorry dude if I mispronounce that anyway, uh, in which, he is actually a uh, part of the customary group known as JW Sealcrafts. He makes weaponry, he makes shields. Him and his brother actually do this job, and I applaud them for their job well done. Especially with my one of my last shields that we will show you. First, let's take a look at one of our basic shields. This is actually the first one. This is a Pictish-style round shield that I have him design. Uh, Pretty much, I first had him do this design off the historical Topeka shield, that of which Topeka was rumored to have had a Scottish Targ shield, and they don't. The, apparently, it was originally supposed to be a center grip, but then they switched it to a strapped on. So yeah, that's uh, yeah. But luckily, <laughs> my good buddy actually managed to make this for me. Now. How much did it cost? It about somewhere in between 150 and 180, I want to say. So, pretty perfect, actually. And in fact, this is bronze, I believe. So, brass, steel, brass little pieces here that are which are connecting the leather. The way they actually had this designed is that this was with planking. Uh, of which, this is not just one sheet of full plywood. This is actually with, uh, which actually you could... I don't know if any of y'all can see this, but you can see just barely the line in the said wood planks. So this is actually really accurate. Now, uh, as well as y'all can see in the imagery of that they sent me, I asked them to do this so that way I can be updated for the said video. And they did a really good job, I have to say. So, yeah. Uh, which, this design is pretty perfect, actually, to what it would have been looked like for a said uh, Pictish-style type shield. As well, when I'm taking a look at this, uh, now, you can also see that it's slightly warped a little bit. One, I believe this is due to shipment. Because one, customs is never always the friend with your said uh, things you order. So yeah. However, I'm glad to see that this thing actually does work well. And as well, some Pictish style shields did have a weird curve in them for some reason, as you can see in this image here. So yeah. Now, not that many picks, though, would have actually used round shields. It's actually stated that only nobles would have actually used round shields. Or is that of cavalry? So, yeah, as I said, we're going to have to get into that probably sometime very soon for our how-to video. But as well, this is 24 by 24 inches. But if you all want a customary shield design, I highly recommend them. Now, you can ask them to make, uh, like, say, a fantasy-like shield. They got it. You want them to make a... Zulu Tribal Shield. They can make it. As well, you want them to make a w the, whatever the hell type shield this thing is, they'll be able to make it. So, if you want a customary design shield, I highly recommend it. They also do customary male armor. And as well, I also hear them maybe plate armor, like helmets, I think. Uh, I don't know, but yeah. But yeah, I am... Uh, order, I did order from them a picture style war sword from them, so hopefully soon it will arrive this week. So, yeah, I'm still waiting on it, and as soon as we get it, we will be doing our Pictish how-to video. But still, this I highly recommend <laughs> getting for anyone who's trying to do a uh, Pictish style noble look. Now people say, oh, but Templar, you could just use your Viking shield. Not exactly. Picture style shields were stated to be almost buckler-like. Pretty much, they were had a, what you might call, a distance from the arm. In other words, they were almost, especially by Roman text, they exposed the elbow. As you can see, the elbow is slightly it exposed. So, historically accurate. So, yeah. Another one I had the make of a picture style shield is one uh, we rarely even get an account about. That would be... The eight-shaped buckler. 
I know, this actually is kind of really cool. I actually do like this. Now, many people wonder, what the hell is an H-shaped Pictish buckler shield? This thing looks stupid. I hear many people already saying, Templar, this looks stupid. There is no way this would work. Well, here's the thing. It's a buckler. This is not meant for <laughs> protecting against arrows. It's actually defense against human beings with their weapons. And the fact is, H-shaped shields were used for one major reason. Say, for example, I, an opponent's trying to attack me with a sword or a spear. He stabs forward. It locks the weapon or, as well, the arm in place. And better yet, I have more control over the person. Moving, I can easily move him in and out of the battlefield. Meaning he's helpless compared to this. And the fact is, this thing is actually pretty awesome. Now, I wanted them to actually have it in pure red. They asked me if I wanted a design on it. I am told them, nah, I'd rather just have it in the pure red form like this. I also asked them to attach leather or rawhide reinforcement, which they happily did so. And as well, I love the fact that they actually, uh, which, tell by this, I think this is bronze or copper with a uh, tent of iron on it, which actually does make it cool, actually. It actually does work to this type form. And... Actually, this is extremely light. This is actually why I love picture style eight shields. These are actually kind of cool. Uh, though I don't know why, but I think some idiots also call it the eye shield if someone holds it like this. No, it's called an H shaped. Because, one, it looks like an H. And these things are actually pretty cool. So, yeah, one major thing I love about them they prep a weapon or the arm, meaning I have more control over that person. So, you gotta admit, these bucklers are pretty awesome. I asked them to do a 15 by 15 design, meaning it's 15 by 15. So it does that historical design shape. So yeah, they did actually pretty impressively awesome on this. Uh, which I highly recommend if anybody want, doesn't have the time or day to make one of these, highly recommend buying from them. This was actually the cheapest out of them all, which I gotta admit was pretty awesome. It's actually kind of actually worth the find, and they even got the center grip, as I love. I don't know why. When it comes to shields, I'm a fan for center grip. I'm not a big fan of strapped-on shields. That I, Now, I know pretty people would say, Templar, it's a little dangerous, but that's just me. So, yeah. But maybe we should get to one of my favorites. I asked them to do this for me, and... I could pretty much already say this is going to have to be my shield for Valhalla. And as well, it's also going to have to become the Templar Crest Shield. Because we got a customary design shield. I asked them to customary make this off of this image here that I made. And they actually followed through the runic design descriptions I had in here. I asked them to have it pure red with a white design colorization, which they did so happily. I even love the Celtic cross with the runes in there. And as well, I also asked them to add the star, which the star, if none of y'all understand, the star actually stands for, each symbol stands for different type of systems. Now, people would automatically start seeing this, Oh, Templar, this is a swastika! Here's the thing. This is actually based off a of Germanic culture. In other words, ancient Germania. So in other words, it's not Nazi Germany symbol. Before anyone starts saying, oh, I'm going to file hate report. Here's the thing, look up your history. As well, I love the fact that they got the Celtic design also correct here. They got the Celtic leaf up here. They got the Celtic swivel or swirl, whatever you want to call it. This one I actually do love. As well, it's also a strapped on, as we can see. Now I hear many people t already saying, Oh, but Templar, you could have taken your older, uh, wider heater shield and done this. Well, as I said, I don't exactly have the time of day to do this at all. Now, it, uh, the only thing I don't like about this is the fact that the shoulder strap is a little small. So, I can only put, like, one arm slightly in, and I'm not even wearing my armor. Although, to be fair, this is still awesome. So, yeah, you could just imagine me now going to on the Holy Land, having this on. <laughs> this actually feels awesome. 
Oh, I might have to ask him to make me a surcoat like this. I don't think I should actually ask him to make me a surcoat just like this. I would look... That actually would pretty much look awesome with the matching design. Uh, but as we can tell, they actually did a very great job at doing this. Uh, now, they edged them in, it looks like, so that way they could actually trace down where it was supposed to be. So, but yeah. Now, the reason I asked them to do this design and model is, for one major reason, my ancestry. I have a mixture of Germanic, Scandinavian, and Celtic. However, due to the fact that my mother and, and such was a majority of Welsh Celt, and as well a slight bit of Scot and Irish, I had to actually have that actually placed in here. Still though, I actually have to recommend them, because <laughs> they did a very great job at doing this. Honestly, I feel like this should actually just be displayed now, like right here. What do y'all think? Should it just be displayed here for every time I open up the said, uh, because I feel like it should just be displayed right here, like this, every time we open up. Because this, this would actually make a very really good background if you think about it. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, do I highly recommend these guys? Absolutely. If any of y'all want a customary design weapon, or as well even a shield, or armor, I highly recommend them. I will leave links down below in the description. And as which, he, you will contact him through Facebook mostly, and as which, he actually does his job pretty well, as we can understand. I actually do love this design very much. Uh, which, I might have to ask him to make me a couple of customary weapons probably very soon. Uh, now people would probably already mad ask, uh, Templar, does he do fantasy weapons? Yes, this is an image of uh, Thorin's sword. Uh, well, uh, Orcrist the Goblin Cleaver, which he does very well. He also sells a lot of axes. Yeah. Although, some i rather not hold. I do not know why he made that. I really don't want to actually, I, No offense, dude, but that one is kind of scary for me. Now, I can also see some people also asking for African tribal weapons. Yeah, I could also see him probably making those as well. But as well, y'all, if any of y'all want a customary shield design like this, highly recommend them. Because this is as beautiful. I, in fact, I have not found anybody that makes customary shields as beautiful as this. It's actually just as accurate as the image I sent them. And, and such, they even followed the rune designs I gave them. Which, they have the arrow, <laughs> all three arrows on the same area, on the same points. They did an avid detail to it. Now, in such, as I said, I highly recommend them. But pretty much though, this bad boy is going to be staying with me for a long time. <laughs> and as well... If any of y'all want a gift for your said family members and such, like give them a, like say, uh, I don't know, a family crest, for example, you have a family crest or motto or whatever that you want on a shield, this would be the best option for y'all. But as well, I could probably also see some of y'all doing this with a crusader kite shield, I could also see some of y'all doing this with said a uh, symbol like uh, this and that, but as well, it's a different idea. But now, if any of y'all are also true Celtic Templars, like myself, I highly recommend getting something like this. Because one, <laughs> he actually might actually have that entirely saved up in stock. So, uh, Anus, if you're actually seeing this right now, you might want to stock up. Just in case, if, our, if my fellow Celtic Templars end up, well, uh, wanting to buy from y'all. So, yeah. Uh, but anyways... Highly recommend buying that from them. This is actually really impressive. And the thing is, I gave them specific uh, details on the design and as well the length and such and the width and even the curvature. And they did that. So much so, I love them for this. And I think I will be actually be ordering from them for a long while now. But as which, probably by July and probably by December, we might be getting some newer weaponry. So, yeah. 
However, our Pictish sword shall be arriving soon, hopefully soon, by next week. And soon after that, we will be doing the said Pictish style warrior, or the common Pictish warrior, and then hopefully do the said Pictish noble, if it's up to y'all, well, approval. But anyways, guys, hopefully you liked this video, like and subscribe for more. Anyways, as I said, check out my said buddy's type of area that in which he can easily contact him through the Facebook uh, type, uh, well, link down below. If any of y'all have any questions, please let me know, or as well, please let my buddy know. He will be happy to make your said shields and weapons for y'all. Especially if any of y'all have any big questions about the site, I will leave a link to the site immediately. So that way, y'all can easily get your hands and see what they have made. Anyways, guys, it's been Celtic Templar. Hope to see y'all in the next one. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.